welcome back everyone so many windows personal and the business user want to encrypt their drive with the password but as they are in the home edition of windows 10 or 11 they don't have the bitlocker option enable but today i will be sharing a tool that will be helping you to enable the bitlocker in the home edition to encrypt your drive so without any delay let's quickly get started And before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you so right now i am in the home edition of windows 11 and if i open up the system information so here you can see i am on windows 11 home edition and if i open the file explorer and right click on the drive so you can see i don't find the bit locker option here even if I search for the BitLocker, I won't be getting that and it will take me to the website. So what you need to do, you will have to come to this website. The link will be in the description of iBoys of Disk Geeker for Windows and it says the disk management tool work to clone a disk partition to another fully or incrementally clone a partition to be a BitLocker encrypted one. Okay, so there are a lot of things that you can do like you can go with the disk clone disk space analyzer disk y bit locker encryption disk speed test resize partition lost partition recovery so here you have to click on try it free and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded open the downloaded folder right click on it click on extract all click on extract once extracted you will be getting this kind of installer folder again make a double click on it and then you'll find iBoySoft Disk Geeker. So you need to make a right click on it. Click run as admin. Click on yes. Click on OK. Click on next. Check the agreement box. Click on next. Next. And install. And then click on finish. And then it says thanks for installing the iBoySoft Disk Geeker for Windows. Now they have their paid plan that is for the basic edition and the professional edition and they provide you a lot of things so if you really want to enjoy the feature you can go with the trial version if you love it then you can also try their paid plan okay so once you install the software you will be getting this kind of dashboard and here you can see you find different kind of tool like a space analyzer secure data wipe and the toolbox now here you have to look for the bit locker you need to click on it then it give you two different options either you can encrypt the partition or you can also manage the bit locker partition so we need to encrypt the partition so we will click on it and then it will list you all kind of partition so what you need to do you need to select the partition and keep in mind that you will not be able to encrypt the c drive where the operating system is being installed all right so let's say if i want to encrypt this new volume e and if i bring up the file explorer in order to show you this is the drive that i want to encrypt and if I open it, I have some important data here like office data, private pictures and the office record. I will be encrypting this drive. So again, go back to the software, select that particular drive partition. Then you need to click on next. Now it will ask you the password. So you can see it's very easy and very simple to configure. Simply type your password that you need for this drive. Then retype the password. Click on next. And it says, please don't remove your drive during the encryption. So you can easily encrypt any kind of external drive, like any kind of external hard disk, SSD, or any kind of USB. So now here you have to wait until the process is being completed and it won't take much time, but still you have to wait here. Now next it will ask you, how do you want to backup your recovery key? Some settings are managed by your system admin. If you forget your password, you can use the 48 digit recovery key to access your drive. So exactly the same as you do in the BitLocker. So you need to click on save to a file. Then it will ask you where exactly you want to save. So I can click on my computer. Then I will go to the C drive so that I can easily access the recovery key. Then it will ask you where exactly you want to save in the C drive. So what I can do, I can go in the users, all users, and then I can save in the document. Now I'm taking this path, but if you want to save to any other location, then you can select that location and the recovery key will be saved to that particular location. 
So once you have selected, you need to click on confirm. And it says the recovery key saved successfully and this is the path. And if you want to copy this path somewhere, then you can copy it and save it on a notepad. Now this is for the additional security in case if you forget it, at least you will have a way to find out your key. So I will save it to my document only, then click on save, then I will close it, click on confirm. And now you can finally click on next and click on start encrypting. So it may take some time depending that how much data you have in order to encrypt it. So you need to wait until the process is completed. And you can see the process is completed on my end because I have very small data in my disk drive. Now keep in mind that there are some limitation in the free software that I guess you can encrypt a drive that contains around 16 gigabyte in space. But if you want to encrypt any drive that contains more space, then you will have to go with their paid plan. Alright, so now I can click on close. I can close the software now. And this time if I bring up the file explorer, go to this PC. So now you can see that my disk drive has been encrypted. And if I double click on it, so now you can see the data is coming up. So in order to apply the changes, you need to go ahead and restart the computer. So let me go ahead and restart it. Okay, so the computer has been restarted. Now it may take some time while it's starting because it might be updating many kind of files. So you will have to wait. Now this time, if I again bring up the file explorer and go to this PC, so now you can see the E drive is being encrypted and it shows us in a log, right? So if I double click on it, so now you can see it says the bit locker and the password to unlock this drive. So now as I know the password, I can just type in the password here and then click on unlock and the drive will be unlocked and now I can open it and I can view all my files. Now in the future let's say that if you forget the password of the BitLocker, if you make a double click on it and you don't remember the password anymore, so you have the option of the recovery key. And if you remember while creating the BitLocker, we saved the BitLocker key in the document section. So if I go to the document, so you can see the recovery BitLocker key is being saved here. And if I double click on it, it shows me the location. I will copy this path. Then I will go and paste in the file explorer on the top. So you can see that we got the recovery key here. I can simply copy this recovery key. Again, I will go back to the file explorer. Double click on local disk E. Click on more options. Click on enter recovery key. And paste the recovery key over here. Click on unlock. And the drive will be unlocked. So it's very simple to use and operate. Only you need to make sure that you save this uh, recovery key somewhere safe and hidden so that nobody else can find it. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.